Okay, question 7a, a little bit nicer than question 6. Uh, given that the log base a of y is 2 log base a of 7, add log base a of 4, add a half, find y in terms of a. Okay, so on the right, we can simplify those two log terms. So in first we'll say log y is log of 7 squared using the power rule. So that's log 49 add uh, log 4 add 1 half. Now we can combine the two logs on the right. So log y is equal to, now with the addition law, you multiply the numbers inside of the logs together. So we're going to get log of 49 times 4, uh, which is 100 and 96 and then we got plus a half cool okay so to get rid of the logarithms we're gonna at some point have to exponentiate both sides we can't do that at the moment because we have that one half on the right what we can do is get the logs on the same side. So we're going to subtract log 196. So we get log y minus log 196 is equal to a half. Combine the logs. Log of y over 196 is equal to a half. So now, given that our log has base a, we now raise both sides as a power of a. So that's going to cancel out the log on the left. So we get y over 196 is equal to a to the power of a half which is root a and now we just multiply by 196 so y is 196 root a cool okay then for part b when asked to solve the equation 2 log base a of x is equal to log base a of 9 Minus log base a of 4. Um, a student gives the following solution. We are asked to explain what is wrong with the student's solution for one mark. So, we started off by writing the equation down. It's always a good start. We've combined the logs on the right. That's fine. We've used the power rule on the left. That's fine. We've then got rid of the logs. That's fine. So we got x squared is 9 quarters. Now when we've square rooted, we do get x is 3 halves and negative 3 halves. But the problem is uh, negative numbers are invalid uh, inside the logarithms so you can't log a negative number cool